Jeff Cote here with VotingTechTalk.com. We've got a Shakespeare Super Halo. And what we're going to be talking or doing is doing an unboxing. This is a product that uh, our company, Pacific Yacht System, has sold and Roton Industries have sold at least probably 100, maybe more. I have one on my boat. It's a cell booster. So, uh, full disclosure, cell boosters are not miracle devices. If you don't have a cell connection, this will not create a cell connection for you. And if the cell connection is really, really terrible, this will not make it great. I have to say, having installed hundreds of these devices, a lot of owners uh, get frustrated and are sometimes have maybe really high expectations. So remember, this is not a miracle device, does not create internet on your boat uh, magically. It's a way for us to have a better cell connection. For me on my boat, as I'm trying to work and extend and stay longer or maybe take an afternoon off and but still be able to do emails and do it on my boat, this is a great way when you have a reasonable cell connection to boost the cell signal so that your cellular devices, whatever that be, right, could be even in a tablet or it's a cell phone, is going to have a better connection to the cellular network. But again, disclaimer, this is uh, does not create internet itself uh, and is strictly a booster of cell phones. The Shakespeare Super Hill has been around for a few years. Uh, I installed on my boat a few years back. I'm glad I did um, because I wouldn't have as much connectivity as I would have wanted in a lot of different anchorages here in British Columbia. It's a coastal a solution. It works um, on different bands. It's going to do yeah, 4G, 3G, 2G. Uh, so that's no problem. Let's start with opening the box because as I'm opening, I can maybe show you a few things. By the way, also, uh, there are other products that are called Wi-Fi extenders, and that is a separate product. This, the Super Halo uh, from Shakespeare, is really a product to have a little bit of mobility within a boat. So what it means is that you have an external antenna, which we're going to talk about. You have an internal antenna, and then you have the amplifier. But here's the catch. Um, the further away you are from that internal directional antenna, and I'm going to emphasize that in a little bit, the signal does degrade quite a lot. So you can't be putting this device in a really, really large boat and expect miracles and be far away from it. Uh, to be honest, on my boat, I try to stay as close to the directional antenna as possible. And sometimes if my cell connection is really important to me and it's a really bad space, or place where I am, I'm actually gonna have my cell phone directly in front of that directional antenna and I might have a Bluetooth headset for a phone call or what I'm gonna do uh, with this device is I might have my cell phone in front, create it as a hotspot and then my laptop is somewhere else. So I'm actually going from laptop over Wi-Fi to cell phone, cell phone is taking a Wi-Fi and it's hotspotting and then it's using this device to go outside world. So that's how I can be able to work remotely on my boat, which is a dream. Um, and without it, I wouldn't be able to do that. So again, Shakespeare is a huge player in the marine industry. Um, they do antennas aglore. Uh, they've got a huge, I mean, their website is pretty extensive and we use their products all the time. So this is their Shakespeare Super Halo. So the first thing you'll notice when you open the box, you've got the instruction manual. Also notice what they're install. They're giving you actually a lot of stuff. They're giving you a mount. Now this mount to install the external antenna, which we're gonna talk about, is actually flush mounted, so it would be good on an arch. If you're a sailboater and you wanna install this uh, potentially on a bracket on a radar pole or something like that, or you wanna install the antenna um, on the side of the boat, you're gonna need a different antenna mount. So this is a flush sort of heavy duty, low profile uh, mount. There are other mounts. It's a standard one and a quarter inch mount. And again, if this one doesn't work for you, you can buy other ones, but they give you one mount because for most of us, this is going to be the mount we want. The other thing too, um, we've got a power cable here um, that is so 12 volts. So the good news is the Shakespeare Super Halo is powered by 12, uh, which is important. Uh, you'll notice um, there's two cables uh, that we've got here. And uh, they've got both different purposes, and we'll talk about those. So I'm going to put them aside. This is the cell booster. Actually, I'm going to leave that to the side here because I'm going to take everything from the box, and then we can actually, without the box right in front of me, I'm going to have a little bit more space. 
because as some of you know, I like to use my hands to talk. It's a part of my Latin upbringing, so I can't change that too much. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna open up is what's called the directional antenna. So this is the antenna that's inside the boat. There's a lot of caveats when you install this antenna. Uh, you just can't install where you want. You've got to install it where it needs to be. Um, <laughs> interesting sound. All right. So this is the mounting bracket to install this directional antenna. And this is the antenna that would be mounted somewhere in your boat. And devices that are sort of facing this antenna are gonna have a boosted cell signal. So the term omnidirectional means going in all directions. This is actually directional. So any device that is behind that will not have a boosted cell signal. So the trick is finding a place on a boat where you can mount this, where most of the time, most of the devices that need cellular connectivity are gonna be in front of it. The challenge is that the external antenna, this antenna right here, um, you want to mount that as high as possible, but not so high that the cable can't reach. So you can see the cable, there's a longer cable. So you don't want to have the cable, you know, some sailboarders ask me, oh, Jeff, can I install this at the top of my mast? Well, you could, but by the time you calculate the loss of signal along that cable, you would actually undo the benefit, right? Because you can't have a cable forever long and expect the signal to not degrade until it hits the amplifier, which is this right here. So this is the external antenna, and this is an omnidirectional antenna. So this antenna over here allows you to actually get the cell signal from all directions. So this is a directional antenna. On some boats, we'll install this on the spreader. Now, yes, there are blockage there, but again, it's a sailboat. You know, it's all about compromises. There is no perfect place. Ideally, you'd want this on a stick, at the top of a stick, but a stick not so high that nothing is around it. That's a hard ask, right? So the closest thing might be a radar pole at the back of your boat, and maybe you have the ability to mount this higher than the radar, then that would be an ideal location. And so installing this on a radar pole at the aft of a sailboat would be good. Or if you've got a power boat and um, you know, it could be on the radar arch, it could be on the side, no radar arch, and you have maybe a VHF antenna on one side of the uh, flybridge, you might install this on the other side of the flybridge, and you might be able to use an extension mount to bring it up higher. Right, that's an option. So this is the omnidirectional outside antenna. And this is the directional antenna. Now, the challenge is, and when you read the instructions, and as you, some of you know me quite well, I'm a big fan of reading instructions. I'll geek out and actually read instructions prior to even buying something, anticipating what I need to do, because when I do get a product, I'm pretty sort of stoked to get it installed. So I'm doing my homework beforehand. The challenge is that this omnidirectional antenna cannot be forward of this antenna. So if you have a, a boat, you couldn't have this sort of setup. This antenna, the omnidirectional, has to be behind. It has to be behind. You can't, you don't want the interference from this antenna affecting this antenna sing, sending a signal back. So this antenna has to always be directly above or behind. And that's where it gets complicated. So for example, the in, the point I was saying before, if you have a sailboat and you have a radar pole at the bast, if you've got this antenna, you cannot have this antenna facing this way. That would not work. You need to find a bulkhead and you have to face it like that. So always having the directional antenna facing away from the omnidirectional antenna. We've sometimes installed them on the side of the boat. That's possible. Again, if this is on one side and you have this on your radar arch and you have it on starboard, then you could have this on the starboard side of your boat facing port. But again, never have them face one another, okay? So that's a big, big, and that's a challenge on a lot of boats. Not all of us can do that. Sometimes we can't do it. I have boaters that say, Jeff, I want this product. How can we make it work? And in the end, we're not able to. But in most cases, we're able to find a way. And it's a compromise, right? There's no, there's no perfect solution. It's a boat. If you want perfect, there is no perfect on a boat. It might feel like perfect, but it's not perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at is, um, I want to go slowly opening this is that is what I'm opening right now is actually the amplifier itself. So this is the amplifier. You can see a bunch of a uh, place where you can mount the screws. There's some screws here that come. 
Now, many of us are gonna find that these screws are too long. So on most of the boats where we install, these screws are not adequate. And so what we end up doing is actually choosing other screws that are maybe a little bit not as long because there's not a lot of places where you can mount that where you've got a lot of room. And this is the power jack right here. Uh, I was gonna show you the cable that we had in my hand at the beginning. This is the power cable right here and it would go in this slot right there. And this would be mounted on a vertical bulkhead, right? Somewhere on the boat in between the omnidirectional antenna right here and the directional antenna right over here. So um, they're showing you the different types of signals. The older models had actually manual gains. This one automatically does it. It also uh, will allow you, you're probably wondering, well, this work with multiple cell phones or another question I get a lot of time is like, do I need a cell phone subscription? Nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. So you can do multiple cell phones, yes. You can do up to seven cell phones on this system, but you do not need a cellular connectivity plan with this device. This is just a booster. So your cell phone, you've, you have one, you have a SIM card, you already have connectivity with your carrier with that phone. And so you don't need to pay something else to actually have this Super Halo system work on your boat. Um, again, it's worth noting, you know, like all of us want connectivity or many of us do connectivity in our boat. Not all of us, but some of us do. It's a challenge. It's, it's about being realistic about our expectations and remembering that it's not a perfect device. It's, it's a device that does what it can. It does, it's to, in my opinion, one of the best cell boosters in the marketplace, no doubt. But that being said, and it's the one I have on my boat, but that being said, it's not gonna solve all your problems. And again, if you're in a place where there's no cellular connectivity or really, really bad, this might make it a little bit better, but it's not gonna solve all your problems. Also worth noting, and I talked about this earlier, this directional antenna, the further you are away from this directional antenna, the more, a loss of signal, cell signal you're gonna have. So if a cell connection is really, really important to you, and like I said, sometimes I'll have my cell phone right here. I'll find a way to put my cell phone as close as possible and then I'll Bluetooth to my cell phone or I'll Wi-Fi to my cell phone for uh, hotspotting. But if you have a phone 20, 30 feet from this, it might get a little bit of a boost, but it's gonna be really minimal. So again, keep your cell phone as close as possible to this device, okay? So that is the Shakespeare Super Halo uh, and is our, probably one of our top cellular booster devices. If you've got any further questions, post them down below. Remember, we've got a whole section on our website at pacificyachtsystems.ca just on this product and on this product category. Lots of articles uh, that we've written over the years. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it, Honestly, it does, it does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.